Another way to tell the difference between silk and polyester is from its luster. Because silk is a, actually a prism, the cellular structure is a, is a triangular shape, it refracts many different kinds of light, different colors, whereas the polyester is a flatter, more even light. So let's take a look at these reds. This one is the polyester. And this one is the silk. It does look like the silk has a richer glow, a more variety of tone, and I can see that the polyester has a whiter, more even light. Okay, let's look at these two. All right, here we have silk and a polyester. Again, I can see that this one has a very even white light and this one has more dimension. It's very subtle, so try it yourself with a couple different fabrics and see if you can tell the difference in the luster between the silks and the polyesters. Another way is in the evenness of the weave. A polyester will always, especially when you look at the wrong side, it will always be very even. Silk is a natural fiber, so you're gonna see unevenness. And that's even beyond what you see in a, in a raw silk where it has a lot of slubs. But in even fine silks, you will see slight differences in the texture, which is only to be expected because it's a natural fiber. Now, the final most definitive way to determine if something is polyester is with a burn test. So I'm gonna try burn testing some of the fabrics here. And I have my water and my fire extinguisher on hand to be safe. Um, but I'm actually gonna take a swatch of fabric and uh, light it with this lighter uh, and see what happens. Um, so this one is burning quite rapidly and then extinguishes, and it smells like human hair. Um, it's a natural fiber, and it makes a soft ash that drops away. Now I'm gonna try an organza, and another organza, and see what that is. Now this one is not holding the flame, and it actually melted a piece of plastic onto the lighter. This one is definitely a polyester. And it doesn't really burn, it just is curling. And slightly acrid smell, and it makes a hard, ouch, a hard edge. Be careful, let it cool before you touch it. So it's almost like a little hard ball. It's become totally hard like plastic. Okay, let's try these potassois. It's been advised that it's better to use um, one of these lighters rather than a match, because with the match, you also have the smell of the sulfur, which could distract you from the smell. Let's see what happens with that. I dipped it in the water to cool it quickly. And, ooh, totally hard little ball. A hard little plastic ball. This one is definitely polyester. Again, that smell of kind of burning hair and let's try to check the ash, and the ash totally crumbles. So this one we know is a silk. So there you have it, there's five different ways. And again, the most important thing is to train your eye. Try to also just visually try to see the difference. So here with the silk, we see that the organza has a beautiful soft flow, the, the, the way it breaks, the little angles are soft and curved. The gathers are even and smooth. 
the, the neckline has a nice soft press. And now look at the difference between the polyester. It's also quite beautiful, but you can see that the, the organza has a slightly harder quality. It's slightly stiffer looking. It's, um, it's a little more um, um, rubbery. And also look at the gathers here, the way it's, it didn't quite sew as well. Um, polyester is notoriously difficult to press well. And you can see that the seams are a little bit puffy here, whereas these seams have a really hard press. These are a little bit puffy. And so it's also a visual sense, developing a visual sense. And uh, developing, uh, as a designer, a good eye for your fabrics is really important. 